This entire game of business comes down to one thing. Whoever thinks the biggest wins. And here's how you identify who the biggest thinkers are. Typically during times of crisis or when an opportunity comes up. Let me explain. I'm working at Bally Total Fitness years ago, 1999. I know nothing about sales. I just got out of the army and I know how to lift weights, but I know nothing about selling. And there's this guy that's training about sales. And I remember it came time for me to go to the financial industry and I said to him, I said, why don't you go try entrepreneurship and business? He says, no, I'm not doing this. Bally's was going through a funky time where LA Fitness was going to buy him out. Rumor had it that they were going to go through a bankruptcy. He settled for a $65,000 year salary. I told him, why are you not leaving? He says, I have the best 401k plan and health insurance plan. This is what I'm going to be doing. Then fast forward to Morgan Stanley Dean Witter. Another guy, when 9-11 took place, everybody was afraid after 9-11 took place. There was a follow-on meeting the next day, 9-12, where we got together and everyone was panicking, biting their nails. Guys that were training me when I first got my series, everybody's so afraid. Oh my gosh, this is it. What am I going to do next? And the rumor started spreading. Safest job, safest job, the safest job to get. Go work for the bank. It's the safest job, safest job. I got a job at the bank. And next thing you know, like cockroaches, everybody disappeared when you turn on the lights. Everybody disappeared when crisis lights came on. Everyone went and got jobs at banks. Why? Because it was safe. They wanted their health insurance program is what they wanted. Wherever you're working at right now, whatever you're doing, never fear talent, never fear the smartest guy, never fear the sharpest looking guy, never fear the guy with the degree, never fear the guy with the best last name with credibility and all this stuff. Always, always fear the biggest thinkers. And what identifies somebody to be a biggest thinker? They never stop. They're not doing this to become financially free and have this dream lifestyle of a car and sit on the beach and drink a, you know, all this stuff and just be relaxing. They're not thinking about, I want to be a millionaire. They're thinking big. They're constantly on the next mode. What's next? What am I doing next? What am I doing next? And whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're at, you know when you're going to know who the biggest thinker is? It may take 5, 10, 15, 20 years. But you know what's the craziest thing? Out of everybody you're working at, you may be the biggest thinker and no one will know it for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So be patient, work hard diligently behind closed doors when no one sees it.